Hi, I'm Corey. Welcome to Creating with Scraps. This is going to be a between the projects video and since I haven't made a video in almost two months I thought I'd start uh, with a small project. Stamperia Forest is coming and hopefully, hopefully soon. But uh, the end of the summer I spent some time with people. I had been neglecting that and I made that a priority and then I had some oral surgery and then um, school back to school with new curriculum and new programs and such and then I got pneumonia so it's, it's taken me a lot longer than I'd hoped or intended but I am back now and I'm hoping to make at least a video a week but we will see how that that goes All right one of the things that I have been oh, that I was doing when I had my forced downtime was like many people, I like Pinterest to get ideas. And for years, I have um, kind of clipped and pasted some of the things that I've seen in Pinterest. And I rarely go back and actually make the things that have been inspired. And as I was looking at my um, Scrapbusters list, I realized that a lot of these items that I've clipped would make great Scrapbusters. So for my Between the Series videos, I thought maybe I would come and revisit my Pinterest journal and do some of the projects that I was inspired um, by Pinterest. And so that's going to be our focus today. One of the first ones, and so for those of you who followed the Scrapbuster series, thank you. It was a great fun adventure and it involved making a list of Scrapbuster items and then doing it. Um, that brings me to another point. I had several people tell me that um, so-and-so is doing scrap busters and so-and-so is making them and, you know, be aware. They're making videos. Well, I, I didn't coin the term scrap busters and I love seeing inspiration from other people. So I think that's fabulous. It, it, it doesn't bother me or offend me. It doesn't even register on my radar, basically, because I've been in this industry, well, not junk journaling so much, but craft industry for 25 years and everything, it gets cycled around. So thank you for letting me know, but I think it's fabulous. So I, I learn from other people all the time. All right. One of the um, things that we did on our Scrap Buster list was a uh, trifold. You know, it's just another way to, to have a journaling space basically within your pages. And this is the one that we did in our Scrap Buster book. And, um, it can be done a couple different ways. That was a, a very basic way that we did here, but a long time ago, I don't know, maybe three, four, five, six years, something, I did something similar based on a scrap buster item, but I just tucked a pocket in the middle of it. So it's the same thing. It's that trifold. It's a top flip trifold with a journaling space, but it, I just put, used another scrap piece of paper and, um, made it a little pocket. And which reminded me that even the items on the list, that, that's just a starting point. We can certainly um, take that and run with it. And so what I did was I used an off cut, uh, this in this case, braille paper, but this is a great, great project for off, cut, off cuts of your um, coffee dyed paper or your coffee dyed, uh, you know, plain paper basically. And just folded it into three and put a little pocket here. Well, I added um, a little notepad on this one, but but it's basically the same idea. And it's, again, it's a trifold. I just used another scrap to add a pocket and, uh, you know, a little notepad. And I've shown how to do those in Scrap Buster videos. So I feel like it would kind of be a waste of your time to show you. But basically I, I, I took, you know, a strip of paper and then, oh, this one's got writing on it, but that's okay. Oh, you'll see the idea. I folded it and I folded it to create that trifold, right? And then I used a tag or a tab or a, a little tchotchke or some sort on the front and glued it partially down, halfway down to make a tuck, you know, to hold the, the hold the top closed. So the tuck there. And then for the inside, I just took a scrap piece of card or card stock or you know something that was a little bit heavier and I, I glued it down to make a pocket and then for this notepad piece where it was folded I just took scraps of again scraps of offcuts of uh, coffee dyed paper sewed them together and glued it in and then that made that project so it's really simple but a super great way to use up some scraps and it uses even more scraps because you get your you know your scraps of paper um, your scraps of card, your scraps of offcuts, and then a big offcut. So that's one way to take something that we've already done and alter it just a little bit. And the other one, I saw this, um, 
oh gosh, I don't even remember. Basically what it is, it's a doily and it's a page insert for a doily. And this is the one I was just using as kind of a quick sample. And I'll show you guys how I made it. It's, it's a doily just like, uh, I've got some here. Oh, this one's kind of a beat up one. Um, here we go. Here's a doily. You can use any color, any size pretty much. And we, we love putting these in journals and you can certainly put them in as an insert just like this and, and use it this way. But by folding it, you can create a pocket. And um, so let's just say I was using a journal this size. This is one of my favorite little journals. It was the one I made. Oh, and that reminds me. Gosh, I'm so glad I said that. Um, somebody had asked in um, a YouTube comment about it was a small book that I'd made and they wanted to see the last page. It was a fold out and how to do that. I, I think maybe that this is what they were referring to. This is the one I made. Several sweet people sent me um, a variety of happy mails and I used something from each of those happy mails to make this little journal. It's, it's based on that Tim Holtz um, 12 by 12 paper with the, the sections that are uh, three by four and I made journals that way and so this is the same concept but I made one for myself and she had asked about the last page and I think this is what it is this is what she wanted it's just kind of a fold over um, so here was the last page just folded and folded it again to create this little side tuck put a double pocket on the front this is actually one of my scrap cards um, uh, stamp cards excuse me so where you take a piece of card stock and a piece of tracing paper or vellum and make a, a little pocket on the front for allegedly for stamps but of course you can use it for anything so i'm not 100 percent sure that that's what you wanted but if that's what it is um, if that's what you were wanting this is this is it um, this is just kind of a little flip out fold out thing so anyway there you go on that all right so uh, but i pulled this aside to to show you how i you can make um kind of a little use a, a big doily like this to kind of make a little insert for your journal another page now obviously I didn't make it to fit in this one because this one's done but the idea is that you can take a doily like this and fold it in such a way that you've got um, here I have the little pieces here maybe I have the little pieces here okay I put them somewhere well heck I am always putting something to the side. I had a really cute little, little who's what's it to go in here. Oh, well, I'll put it somewhere. Um, did I tuck it in this? No, I didn't. I don't know what I did with it. Well, whatever. Um, so this doily, it, it's just a journaling insert. And then this one was my first sample and I realized it wasn't great because doily is so thin that you really need something to reinforce where you're going to sew it into your spine. So that was my first sample, but there was a, I just did a little like trifold journaling card. No, nope, no, know where it disappeared to, but I put a trifold journaling card for here for this pocket. And then you sew it into your signature and then you've got an option for two pockets. You have a little pocket in the back and I put a piece of card down. So because doilies always have these little itty bitty holes and I find what happens is um, when you're, taking something in or out this just barely fit because of the way I glued it there we go because I'm on camera um, so I glued that down on the inside so it won't show but so that I don't catch the end of my um, tag on the little holes and then when you after you've sewn this into your signature you'll glue the sides right here down and then you've got another little pocket this will create uh, a little pocket and it does slide in I just don't want to break it right now okay so you glue it down and then it'll create another side pocket so this little doily insert will have a pocket on the front page and then it'll be sewn in so it won't it won't be in the it'll be in the center of your signature but you're going to close it back up basically because you're going to sew it or include it right here at this seam and then fold it back and then just once you've done that you glue these sides down and then that makes up a pocket here and then a pocket in the back and so I'll show you real quickly how to do that now the, the next one that I made I did it a little bit differently because when you sew, like I said doily is really thin and when you're going to if I'm going to sew this in my signature and the in the center of my book the page was too thin and it would tear so if I'm going to sew it in here I've got a piece of cardstock in there so it'll be nice and sturdy but that cardstock's not going to show 
So once I'm done sewing it into my signature, when I'm ready to put my journal together, I'll glue it down like this. And so again, I've got the little pockets here and yeah, they're a little more fragile. So you don't wanna put something really big or really bulky in. And then you've got the pocket back back here, right? The, let's see if I can tuck something in there, but it's folded down. So it's not, you can see I folded it down. So it's a narrower pocket. And I did that for strength, but I'll show you what I'm talking about in a minute. And then you've got the pocket on this side where you where you can um, tuck something in the front. Now I, because again, doily is so thin and the thinner the doily, the harder it is to work with. But I just glued down these when I folded them. One, because I thought it was pretty and two, it just created a little bit more stability for this tuck spot. So I will quickly show you how I did that. And I'll move these to the side. I took a doily and I don't know that it matters if it's rectangle or circular or, or I suppose a heart could even work if you folded it right. And if I were doing it for a specific size, I would make sure I folded it to fit into something, but, but I'm just doing a generic to put into any junk journal. So I'll take my doily. So basically what I'm saying, unless you're working with a really small journal, it, it's just a journal insert. It's just another page. Um, I'll turn it over and fold it so that it's about about in half, but not quite. I want the center pieces to touch or almost touch, but I don't want them to overlap. So touch or almost touch. They don't even have to actually touch. And uh, can you see there? Yeah, see, so they don't even actually have to touch. And then I just fold those in, all right? Next, I'm gonna take what this would be essentially this piece. And that's where we're going to open it up and put a piece of card in there to make it a little bit more sturdy. Um, I'll fold it to maybe not quite or half ish, just a bit, smidge over half or a smidge under half, but essentially half, right? Okay. So I've made the, I folded the left and the right, and then I folded the bottom and then to half or just a smidge over or under half. It doesn't have to be exact. Then I'm going to open it back up because this section right here that I just folded um, on one of the sides is going to be my where I'm sewing it into my journal. When I put this insert page insert into my journal, that's where it's gonna be. And so again, because it's thin, I wanna use one of my scraps. I'll just use you know, a piece of card scrap or, oh, that's the wrong one. A uh, piece of card scrap and put it under there. And I don't really want it to show. You can see it a little bit here, but it's not super obvious. So I'm going to choose a piece of card. Oh, this is a um, colored card, of course it is. I'm gonna choose a piece of card that's going to be a comparable color. I don't want it to really stand out. And you, I suppose you could use copy paper. Um, that would work as well. But I have these little bits of card and this will work just fine. And actually I don't even have to cut that. So I'm gonna go with this. So I'll fold it to put it in. And then I'm just gonna use some glue stick. Um, yeah, lesson plans. That's, that's my life these days, lesson plans. Um, so fold it and then I want that to go on the inside because those dots might show because they're dark. So I'm going to fold because I want this again to be where I sew it into my signature. Put a little bit of glue stick on. You can use wet glue, but the problem with wet glue is with the doily being so thin, it might show through. So that was my rationale for using this. And then where I folded this and where I folded the doily, where I folded the card and where I folded the doily is where I want to put it in side the doily because again I want I want to reinforce that seam I want to reinforce where I'm going to include it in my junk journal all right and then I'll just use my ice scraper to push it down all right and then well then I'm gonna put glue it onto my scratch paper right all right now I've got this section done. So you can see it doesn't really show right here because I've used the same color. All right, so this is going to be one side of the, one side of the page, all right? And now I'm going to put, I'm gonna open it up again, but now, because this piece is gonna be folded over on the other side to make the back, the, the tuck for the other side. and these are fragile and so when I put something in and out of these like if I'm going to use a journaling card or a tag or something they catch really easily so this is a great place to use a piece of uh, coffee dyed 
copy paper or even tracing paper to stabilize that so that you're you're covering up those holes and um oh here this is this is a good one because it's um i've got those words on it i don't need double-sided uh i don't want those words to show that's too sick okay so plan b i'll just have to dig deeper in my my small scraps and again these are just coffee dyed scraps and um that those are left over from a project. I usually use larger bins, but um, those are left over from this summer and the, pro the junk uh, scrap list or idea books. So I want it to be just a, when I'm folding this over or I'm making that a little bit more reinforced or safer to tuck things in and out. I want it to not show at the edge of the doily because remember when I put this in my book, I'm going to fold, I'm going to sew it in here. I'm going to fold it over and I'm going to glue it down. So I don't want this paper to show on the outside. So when I'm putting it in here, I just want to make sure that I put it, um, so that, so it doesn't show when the, when the lace is folded over, when the lace doily is folded over. So I'm going to move it down here and then I can just cut or tear that. And I just make it a little bit smaller. It doesn't doesn't have to be perfect by any means. And it's going to go right about here, right about here. And I'm just going to double check. Yep, it fits, fits nicely. And then what I'll do is, I've already got the cardstock here, so I don't want to glue down the bottom because I want to be able to utilize that space. So I'll take some of my wet glue. Okay, it's just loose and free flowing here. And I folded it over and yep, it fits. Okay, I'm happy with that. And then where it's going to touch the doily, am I in frame? Okay, good. Where it's going to touch the doily, I will put glue on the doily. So uh, where the doily is going to touch, I just put glue and I do that on both sides. And it, you can always come back in and glue a little bit more later if you need to. But I want it to just be like that. So it's gonna hold it in place, but it doesn't block the bottom. So if I were to show you here, you it comes all the way through to the bottom because I want to be able to utilize that space. All right, so I've got that glued. I've got this glued. Okay, all right. Now you can see here that it comes out a little bit to the right and a little bit to the left. And the reason is if I put something a little bit bulkier in here, like I, I made this little, just a little notebook with some scrap, what happens is it lifts up a bit. So when I've glued it down, I've got room to tuck that in. All right, so now once again, again, I'm not going to, um, actually I'll put a little bit of glue here because I want that to stay down and I'll put a little bit of glue here because I want those inside flaps to be, oh, you know what? I shouldn't have done that because remember I wanted it, I wanted it to be able to go all the way to the bottom. Yeah, okay, good. Disregard, don't do that because if you want it to go to the bottom, um, you know, to be able to make this pocket deeper, you don't want to glue there. Sorry, thinking through as I'm talking. Um, I'm going to sew it in my signature, fold it over, and then glue up the right and left sides. And that gives me my top pocket on the inside of the page, my back pocket, my deeper back pocket on the inside of the page. I'd probably use a tag just because of the thickness on that. And now I'm going to make the, so that's the back side of the page. And here is going to be the front side. I just, just choose where I want it and I flip it over to make a tuck. Now, you could tuck something in here, allegedly. I don't, I glue that down simply because I want the extra stability. I want it to be a little bit um, stronger. Again, doily is really thin and it um, tears easily. So, oh here, there you go, it tore. Um, so I'm going to just glue that down and then, because this is where I fold it over, again, this is where I sew it in. This is where I glue it once it's sewn. Here I'm going to fold it over and make a tuck spot. So I'm just going to glue along the edges and that just reinforced those edges to make them a little bit stronger. Okay. And then then one circular doily and it, again, it doesn't have to be circular. Obviously if I was going to ink it, um, this is a coffee dyed doily, but if I were going to ink it, I would ink it first because it would be a real, a real pain to ink that now. All right. Okay. And then again, remember once I glue this down, once I've got my piece in and I glue it down, it's going to, it's not going to show, but this will be what my insert looks like. I have a, a, a place to tuck here. 
and then when I flip my page over I've got two places I've got a place to tuck I've got a place to tuck back here and it's a narrow place because you can see from where we glued it over so this is where I put on the other sample I made this is where I put just a long thin tag see it goes all the way to the bottom but a long thin tag and then the top just another little pocket to hold it all right thank you for watching I apologize again for the extreme delay and I hope to have our first of the Stamperia forest um, inserts basically done very soon and share a video with you Take care and happy creating.